Now let's learn something new. So every time we want to test something, what we are doing is we say we are starting our server, right? Note server.js. We hit enter, it starts listening, we go and test, then we come back, we make changes, we hit control C and we restart our server. We do this every time. So after a while it's getting boring and fortunately there's a solution. It's called NodeMon, okay? So NodeMon restarts the server automatically whenever you save a file that the server uses. That sounds great. Let's install it. npm install NodeMon save dash dev so i say dev for development because we will only use notemon in development environments okay so let's hit enter and i will show you how we are going to execute it so what is going to change is that inside our package json file so let's wait until this is finished uh, we will see a um, dev dependency, okay? So this means in the development environment, this is a dependency, but not in the production. Okay, now let's move on to package JSON. And here we see, see this, uh, these are our dependencies globally. These are our development dependencies we only use inside our development environment. Now, uh, how am I going to execute it? Uh, unfortunately, since we haven't installed NodeMon as a global uh, package, we will not be able to say NodeMon um, space uh, server.js. This will not work. Okay. So there's an alternative and that alternative is quite simple. So here we have scripts and what we will do is we will say dev notemon server.js. Okay. So how is this going to work? Let's Let's go to our terminal and we will say notemon server oh, oh sorry 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 npm run development and here we go listening to port 3000 now let's go back let's see if our app is running voila it's running let's see if we get some data on our console voila here it is and now let's change something so let's copy this and say hello i haven't saved it, the file now let's save it and look what will happen here i'm saving it restarting due to changes starting node server.js listening to port 3000 and let's submit and what we will see is here hello so as you see every time you change something and save it the save part is important once you save it the server will restart automatically automatically so you don't have to uh, run node uh, space server.js every single time so I hope this will help you in your projects. Don't forget to use it in your, in your development environment only. And let's continue with the most exciting part, which is MongoDB.